I'm Dr. Susan Love, the Chief Visionary Officer of the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation. Our mission is a future without breast cancer, and we do that through innovative research into the cause and prevention. The Inpatient Science Program is really designed to help you understand what your choices are and what decisions you have to make. When scientists and researchers talk, they often sound like they are speaking a foreign language. It's important to understand the terms they use, especially if you're looking at studies or clinical trials that you might want to participate in. Being familiar with the following terms will not only help you decide whether to join a study, it will also help you understand the results. The first word you need to know is ARM. This refers to the number of different approaches that are being studied. In some clinical research studies, all volunteers receive the same treatment. This means the trial has only one arm. Other studies are designed to compare two different treatments. These trials have two arms. Some trials may have three or more arms with volunteers in each arm receiving a different treatment. Participants are usually randomly assigned to an arm, like drawing a number out of a hat. If you volunteer for a trial with more than one arm, all of the treatments you might receive will be explained to you. However, you probably will not learn which arm you're in and which treatments you received until after the trial ends. If you don't know what treatment you're getting, there's less chance you'll be influenced by what you may have heard. If your doctor knows which treatment you are getting, but you do not, it is called a single blind trial. Only you are blind to which the treatment you are receiving. If both you and your doctor don't know which treatment you are getting, it is called a double blind trial. An adjuvant trial investigates treatments that are given after surgery is done, such as radiation, chemo, or hormone therapy. Today, we also have neoadjuvant trials, where a woman receives a treatment before surgery. This allows researchers to analyze the tumor to see the effect that the treatment has on the cancer cells. Receiving a treatment before surgery may also shrink the tumor so that less of an operation is needed in order to remove it. For other studies, researchers may ask you to give blood, tissue, or urine samples. They analyze these samples for proteins, genetic mutations, and other biological markers. You can also sign up to be part of an observational study. These studies ask volunteers to regularly fill out surveys or take part in interviews about topics such as diet and exercise habits. Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation's Health of Women study is an observational study. Enrolling in a clinical research study may or may not benefit you personally, but it will help us learn more about what causes breast cancer, how we can prevent it, and which treatments are most effective. Your participation in a clinical trial will help the next generation of breast cancer patients. Because of you, there will be more known about breast cancer and possibly a more effective treatment available. And that's something you can be proud of. Inpatient Science is a video series for you, your family, and friends to better understand breast cancer and the choices that you have to make. If you want to find out more information or to support the foundation, go to drsusanloveresearch.org and help us end breast cancer once and for all.